This is Mike Cuddy again, and here's my latest project that I want to show a simple data science project, and it's I entitled it Vietnam Study, and it's all basically looking at uh, data on Vietnam. Uh, I'm not going to bring up the data necessarily because it's a massive file within here, but I got the data from uh, Kaggle, and there's the link in my README file on GitHub. So now if we go back, if we look at as I always start with the about page, it's the same about page on all my other projects. And I will say I like this project. I think it's a lot cleaner than a lot of the other projects I did. I thought about this project for a while and really how the layout was going to be. And so I really kind of just like how it looks. And I have a quote right here from Henry Kissinger about how it's almost time to really go back and look at Vietnam. Uh, the purpose why I decided to do this project. My father was actually in Vietnam, so I've always been fascinated with it throughout my life and I just really think it's a great thing to study to see how much of a essentially mess it became. Uh, the project has two sections, graphs and the about me page like I said and I just had this video down here of Sergeant Elias Gordon being uh, killed off in the movie Platoon. So like I said I think this is only the second gif I've ever put into one of my projects where I just decided to put it in here. So I will say that this project for the past couple months or even years, if you've been following me, my projects have never been dynamic. They've always been static graphs and everything like that. And this is the first time I've actually made graphs that are dynamic. So you enter data, hit enter, and the graphs will all change based on that data. And I've also, even though I have VChart plugin here, which I was using on some of my other projects, which I said I didn't really like, I didn't, I don't ever use it. I use Google Charts, which I first used months ago and I didn't really like, but I came back to it in this project and I think I really enjoy using it. And I even used it on my Fandango project, which I put up there. But yeah, Google Charts, I think is probably going to be one of the places I go to make a lot of my charts for these projects now. So let's go in to graphs. And here, this graph that shows the Vietnam War deaths, it just automatically loads when the website starts up. And I just talk about some basic thoughts about this graph right here. And you can see that the height of it was in 1968. And here is where it's all dynamic. So it's all set up right here, the how many war deaths from 1960 to 1975. But let's say if I want to go from 1960 to 1965, watch, so if we have a 38,216 people in the army died. If I hit submit, it'll all change. So now it's saying only 1358 died in the Marine Corps 540 and at 2340 deaths there. So we can look at Vietnam War deaths by religion, by race, uh, by enlisted rank, private all the way up to Sergeant Major. Uh, warrant officer rank, uh, Vietnam War deaths by officers. What I always found interesting here is I think captains actually died the most throughout the war. Like, let's go back and change it to 75. See all the data changed. Yeah, captain, I've always thought that it would be second lieutenant or first lieutenant. Well, yeah, and here in this case, it's first lieutenant. So it took a little delay for this uh, data to all refresh there. Vietnam War deaths by combat MOS, infantrymen, riflemen, field artillery, basic assault men. So you can definitely see that infantrymen was most dangerous than Vietnam War deaths by marital status. So all these graphs will basically change depending on what numbers you enter up here. And this is something I've been really wanting to uh, build for a long time. And again, looking at just some of the features of Google Graphs, I just think that they're really, the Google Charts, I think that it's really just cleaner and very, very easy to use. So I highly recommend if anyone wants an easy charting library to use this, to use this one. And uh, we'll close out the package. And here's a store file, of course, all using Vuex. Uh, I will say, I should have said this at the start, but the uh, project, like usual, is built with Python on the back end for the server and uh, Vue.js for the front. So uh, here's all the Vue.js going out with the, the actions, and the mutations. I could have split this file up into separate parts and maybe I should have done that. But in the most part, I was just really focusing on building this project because like I said, it was something that I planned out for a while. And once I got going on the graphs, they actually went really, really fast. And uh, the first couple graphs are 
duplicates of each other, like I duplicate code. Then after that, I just started to switch over to a graph card like I did in my Fandango project and just passed the data into here and it made it really simple and that really sped up my process. And I have to say, I got a little bit bored like I do with all my projects towards the end. And I just basically, I was gonna put something else here. I just decided to stop with this graph right here. So yeah, that's my project. I'm just really excited about it that for now on, I can really make a, a dynamic uh, graphs and everything that I can actually start to make really uh, nicer uh, dashboards and everything that based on the filters and filter through all the data. I was going to have another page of this project looking at bombing runs in Vietnam, but that file was massive and it really slowed down everything. So I just decided to keep it looking at examining deaths. And I will say I also used uh, Vutify for this project as well at parts. So and I really enjoyed look, using that. So yeah, that's the project.